So parents, we all want to take great photos of our kids at their sporting events, right? Well, if you want to take it serious, you got to treat it like you're shooting the Olympics. Speaking of which, um, I'll show you some examples of what I've done in the past and try and talk about some of the tips and uh, what I do and what I look for uh, to get that peak moment. The best advice I can give for anybody who wants to take any action shots or shoot at a sporting event is to be able to anticipate that peak action moment. Uh, this is a good example for any of you parents that have gymnasts in the house. What I normally do is uh, I'll shoot a moderate telephoto lens, a 200 or 300 millimeter lens. And what that does is it isolates the subject from the background, as you can see here, and uh, accentuates the drama that is unfolding. In this case, it was a slip up by a Russian gymnast in 2000. What I find adds a lot of drama to the images, such as this of Donovan Bailey, when he won the uh, gold medal back in 1996. And when he realized he'd just broken a world record, um, that's when he gave us this fantastic expression which made the picture. Look for unusual angles. This is a diver, a platform diver, and I chose to shoot from a higher platform. Um, Anne Momigny from uh, Quebec, she's coming off a five meter jump, and I decided to go up higher to get an unusual angle. Again, to try and capture the expression on her face. And don't be afraid to shoot lots and lots of images. You can go through thousands of pictures. I don't even keep a count. I just nail it and I'll take as many pictures as is required. It doesn't matter. Nowadays with large cards, uh, it's not even an issue. Um, just shoot as much as you possibly can and capture that peak moment. Try and put the viewer in a position that they normally aren't in. When we see a lot of these events on TV, it's a fleeting moment. The still image captures that and, and burns into your brain. And as a photographer, we can put the viewer into a different position, a position that they may not ever see on TV. Getting pictures like this is a lot of work. Uh, you can't be watching the event. If you are, you've missed the picture. You have to keep the camera up to your eye and anticipate that moment um, or it will pass. So armed with that advice, uh, get out there and have some fun taking pictures of your kids, whatever it is they do best. Uh, shoot tight, long lens always works, and capture that uh, key moment. For thestar.com, I'm Bernard Weil.